The greenies would have you in the shower with just little drip, drip, drip. You can't wash your hair and you can't, uh, you know, have a nice shower. The fact of the matter is the greenies want the water level in your toilet bowl to be very, very low. Mm -hmm. And President Trump felt it should be a little higher. Former Trump advisor Larry Kudlow is on the war path against LED lights. Now he's on Fox Business and he decided to rant about a Biden environmental policy that would effectively get rid of incandescent light bulbs. Why? Because he mistakenly thinks that incandescent lights make him look better. The truth is really nothing could do that. But nonetheless, let's hear his argument. Well, look at first of all, this is a lousy idea. Uh, listen, Donald Trump was very keen on these kinds of issues, light bulbs, shower heads, toilet bowls, and dishwashers. So I want to, because it all ran through the National uh -huh. Economic Council, and I was very proud that we could roll back regulations. And Trump, why did he care so Trump much? About it? Well, Trump said that incandescent light bulbs made him look better. He argued, <laughs> he argued that strenuously. But. The point he was making, which I'm going to make in general, is first of all, incandescent bulbs make everyone look better. Oh. The LED bulbs cast this sort of odd bluish. Hold on, John, maze, are you listening? Because John maze. favors the LED lights. Well, you know, John, you would look better under an incandescent bulb. <laughs> Now, uh, there have been some uh, innovative updates to LED lights. So if you're buying bright, LED lights, bright white LED lights. Um, he does have a point. They do have this weird bluish hue, uh, but you can also buy warm LED lights. But you know, he hasn't really looked into it because how could he have any time to do so when you're so busy dunking on environmental policies that are meant to save Americans money, by the way, in their electric bills and help save the environment? Yeah. Um well, okay, we've now got another piece of evidence that uh, shockingly enough, it turns out I'm not that vain. Because I have never ever asked what the lights are and how they make me look uh, in any room, oh. okay? And uh, and I could barely tell even when we do lights on air, right? And so, and you could probably tell I'm not that vain by how I dress and how I look to begin with, which leads me to the second point. Uh, you know, animation, you know, I'm not sure. Cudlow or Trump's gonna look that great under any light, uh, and but it's amazing that they're not self-aware, right? Like, like I'm aware. Like, believe me, at certain angles, at certain angles, I don't look great. <laughs> okay, so, but I'm aware of that. But they're like, oh well, you know, I'm. It's really important how I look, dude. Trump, you're massively overweight, and look, I am too. But just you don't have any sense, and maybe that's what it is. He's so insecure. And he knows the sorry state he's in. That's why the cakes on that orange makeup, does the weird rat trap on his head, and is always worried about the lights. How are the lights? How are the lights? Right? And I'm. I thought the funniest part was Kudlow saying, you know, uh, Trump cares about those everyday lifestyle issues. He's you know so attuned to that. He isn't thinking about it for the average American. He's thinking about it for himself. He's not like, hey, how's totally. Bob looking under the incandescent lights? He's worried about how he looks. Okay. God, I have so many things to say. I didn't I didn't realize this story would like it, like all these like thoughts are bubbling up. Okay, so first off, I, I couldn't help but remember when Trump believed in this weird conspiracy that like reporters, like photojournalists were intentionally taking pictures of him from an angle that would like accentuate his double chin. And it was like I love you, buddy, but Okay, here, oh, this is the thing I don't understand. And and look, don't get me wrong, I am vain. I will say it, I, I admit it, and I definitely care about lighting. I just do, okay? I, I think it's good to own who you really are as a person, and I do care about looking good. Um, and so it always boggles my mind when people who allegedly have a lot of money, like Donald Trump, could just like easily fix whatever they're insecure about, right? It's not beneath me. I mean, if I had unlimited funds, <laughs> I would definitely like. I would have a, a personal chef, a private trainer. Um, you know, as I get older, I, I would like easily do the nips and the tucks and like not have to worry about it. Like Donald Trump, if he's insecure about the double chin, he can handle the double chin. Like, why doesn't he take care of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. just weird to me and that <laughs> I think it's weird when insanely wealthy people don't look good. 
<laughs> you have limited resources allegedly. Why don't you look good? Do you really have an excuse? Yeah, look, I, I'm amused by your pet peeve of rich people who don't spend enough money on their face. <laughs> uh. They have an obligation and they're not living up to that obligation. It's really disappointing. <laughs> so I, yeah, this conversation took a turn. When you got to Nips, I was like, where, where are we going? Okay, but we got toilets still coming by the way. There's still hilarious things in this. But I just wanna say, yes. look, people are insecure about different things and I get it. I, I realize as we're talking, wait, I'm made in a different way. Uh, I've told this story before when Jesus, who was our uh, original director and now head of the uh, studio, uh, and I were setting up the cameras when we first started doing the show. I realized that my double chin shows up more if the camera is even with me. And I'm like, Jesus, just raise it up a little bit more, raise it. And then so we got, we shoot this way so I don't look as big. Keeping it real, so it turns out I am vain in that way, right? But this kind of self-acknowledgement that the Cudlows and the Trumps of the world would never have. I mean, they'd never have a frank conversation like this because it would expose their weaknesses. And they think that they're too weak to handle people knowing their weaknesses. Whereas if you're confident, that's just the stuff you laugh at. All right, Anna's got more. Right. All right, but first, uh, just I wanted to actually provide a little bit of substance in this story. So, uh, what is Kudlow freaking out about? So, the new rules, which reverse a Trump era policy, uh, expand energy efficiency requirements to more types of light bulbs and ban the sale of those that produce less than 45 lumens per watt, a measure of how much light is emitted for each unit of electricity. This will eventually prohibit most incandescent and halogen light bulbs and shift the country toward compact fluorescent and LED bulbs. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, again, not only is it good for the environment, it actually saves a lot of money for Americans energy costs. So it's just a smart move. Biden administration officials estimate that taken together, the two rules will save consumers about $3 billion annually when fully implemented. They also project that the changes will cut carbon emissions by 222 million metric tons over the next 30 years, roughly equivalent to what 28 million homes generate annually. And look, I also want to dispel the notion that all of these individual actions are going to make like a big difference. This is this is a good move that kind of scratches the surface, but at the end of the day, like all of these individual actions don't really matter. In the grand scheme of things, the way that we consume energy, where energy comes from, the way fossil fuel companies operate, that is what is accelerating the the destruction of this planet, at least the destruction of this planet for um, you know humans to be able to live on it. Now, uh, now I feel a little better about myself since I gave you some information that's actually valuable. With that said, let's go back to the fun and go to more insane Larry Kudlow nonsense. Uh, so Trump didn't care about the economic impact, right? So he just didn't think he looked good under the more environmentally friendly lighting. And he also said so publicly. So to buttress Kudlow's point about Trump, uh, here are the receipts. The light bulb, people said, what's with the light bulb? I said, here's the story. And I looked at it, the bulb that we're being forced to use. Number one to me, most importantly, the light's no good. I always look orange. <laughs> and so do you. The light is the worst. So the new light bulb costs you five times as much, and it makes you look orange. <laughs> and I was more interested in the orange than I was in the cost. You know, I actually have a different point to make about the, that video. Um, I can't help but think about the story we did, uh, it was either this week or last week, about personality in the Republican Party versus the Democrat Party, Democratic Party. And how Lindsey Graham thought that on policy, Republicans win. On personality, somehow Democrats win. Now, look, as much as I hate Trump, he's poking fun at himself in that video. He's having fun, the audience loves it, his rally goers love it. I don't see a lot of that with Biden. Like, I don't know where Lindsey Graham got that idea from. Yeah, but meanwhile, let's acknowledge that he's cost, and he said it, he said, I don't care about the money. It's not his money, it's our money. He's costing right. taxpayers $3 billion, let alone the damage to the planet, because he thinks he doesn't look as good in that light. That's how he's making decisions. And, and I, he's lighthearted 
and and more entertaining and his audience loves that. That is absolutely correct, right? But at the same time, is he really joking in, in a self-effacing way? No, I, I think he's genuinely saying, oh, that's why I look orange. No, dude, you look orange because you put on orange makeup. That's why you look orange, <laughs> right? And so, yeah. and I mean, how accidentally honest he is is hilarious. But at the same time, it's not hilarious that I have to pay higher taxes because of Donald Trump's vanity. Agreed. Agreed. All right, let's move on to low flow toilets. So Larry Kudlow also has a bone to pick with conserving water. Let's hear what he has to say. The other part of the package is shower heads. All right, Trump wanted to allow powerful water flow so you could have a great shower. Mm -hmm. All right, the greenies would have you in a shower with just little drip, drip, drip. You can't wash your hair and you can't, uh, you know, have a nice shower. The other one was the dishwasher. I don't want to forget the dishwasher here oh, because boy. there was a whole. The greenies want the dishwasher to take three or four hours because, again, in the name of saving water, they want a little drip. Drip, 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 and you have to go in your sink and wash the thing before you even put it in the dishwasher. And Trump Breaking said no. The last one was a toilet bowl. Now, we never got this completely through, but the fact of the matter is the greenies want the water level in your toilet bowl to be very, very low, mm -hmm. and President Trump felt it should be a little higher. Uh, uh. Listen, I can't lie to the audience. Uh, much of what he said there was ridiculous, but. I agree with the shower heads. I just do. <laughs> First of okay. all, like with hold on, hold on. With the dishwasher, oh, is the dishwasher taking a little longer to wash the dishes for me? Oh no, what am I going to do? Who cares? Who cares? Take five hours if you want, machine. I'm not washing the dishes for five hours. The machine's washing the dishes for five hours. Enjoy. Okay. Um, I remember with, with the whole low flow, flow toilet situation, I was like, mm, that sounds a little risky, to be honest, right? But no, we've got low, we live in California. So by code, we have to have the low flow toilets. Otherwise, we're breaking California regulations. And let me just say, the toilets are totally fine, okay? The shower head situation, though, totally agree with Larry Kudlow. 100%. 100%. I have illegal shower heads, don't care. What am I gonna do? I like I'm gonna wash my hair and have conditioner stuck. Like that was the issue. I couldn't get the conditioner off my freaking scalp because <laughs> the pressure's just not enough. Sorry. I take I take three minute showers because I'm too busy. Let me enjoy those three minutes of my life. Okay, get off my balls. <laughs> Fairest show in America. Um, my my favorite part of that whole rant was the greenies. Well, the greenies want you to do this, and the greenies. I didn't know I was a greenie. I like kind of like that. Okay, Casper, I'm gonna call you greenie from now on. Except you're apparently only two thirds greenie. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm reasonable. I'm a reasonable <laughs> person. Look, if you're the kind of person who likes to take hour long showers, yeah, that's a problem. But for me, it's like, listen, we're already like <laughs> you're sucking back our drinks through water. Like we're sucking our drinks through like paper straws that disintegrate within two minutes. We're already like miserable in a billion different ways to save the poor, poor fossil fuel companies from having to change a damn thing. You're not gonna take my three minute shower away from me. Sorry, not gonna yeah. happen, I don't care. By the way, I agree with the two points you made. I hate the plastic straws and I hate the low water flow in the showers. Now, but I will suffer through that. If the oil executives agree to some of our demands, because that would make a thousand times bigger impact. Kudlow, are you gonna get your oil buddies to agree? No, you're not, are you? No, you guys are gonna keep stuffing that money into your pockets, destroying the planet, and pretending that the real problem is toilet flow, okay? Now, that does bring us to toilet flow. The reason why Trump was complaining about the toilet flow is because he was stuffing documents into the toilet. That's a story that broke a couple of weeks back. He would rip up the documents. Some of them were benign and he had a habit of ripping up paper, but some of them had damaging information. The things that had damaging information, he would take and then stuff it into the toilet and it would clog the toilets of the White House. So that's why he was complaining about the toilets. To Cudlow and to everyone who else who would listen. In fact, we have it on tape. He is accidentally too honest. Listen to Trump while he was president. 
We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it. And you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. <laughs> that was They're taking the... dumps. Yeah. Big dumps. <laughs> no, they no. call them dumps, big massive dumps. <laughs> but he literally did document dumps in the toilet. That's why people in the White House had to flush 10, 15 times because he clogged it up. Okay. <laughs> and by the way, that press conference had not press conference, but get together with his cabinet center had nothing to do with these issues. It was a out of nowhere. He's like, oh, you know, with the toilet, you know, you just throw some, you know, incriminating documents in there, and all of a sudden, we got that people can't flush the toilet. He's unreal, and now Cudlow, after the fact, trying to justify it. Well, the grainies, the real problem is the grainies, okay? <laughs> no, Larry, your third martini at lunch might have been the real problem. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.